Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on joint plots. In this lecture we'll look at data visualization using joint plots. Let's start by importing the libraries and modules that we need. I copied this from the previous lecture. Import NumPy as NP, Pandas as PD, Seaborn as SNS, Matplotlib's PyPlot as PLT, and Matplotlib inline, which is a special Jupyter function that allows us to see our plots on Jupyter Notebook. So Seaborn has a number of data sets that we can use for our learning purpose. What we'll do is we'll use two of the data sets that Seaborn has. One is called the tips data set, the other one is called the iris data set. Let's first import this data sets and show you. So SNS that there is a method called load data set that will help us import this data sets. So SNS that load data set and then pass the name of the data set. So the first one is tips and let's save this in a variable called tips. So if we see the tips data set, tips that head, we see that we have the following columns, total bill, tip, sex, smoker, day, time, and size. This is based on people who dined in a restaurant and how much they paid, how much tip they left, whether it's a female or a male, smoker, day, time, and then family size. The second data set that we'll use is called the iris data set. So SNS that load data set, load underscore data set. Then name of our data set is iris. Let's save this in a variable called iris. So let's call iris that head. This data set is on the iris plant and this iris has three different species named setosa, virginica and versicolor and this data set describes the sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width for those three species. Now let's start by visualizing this tips data set by using a joint plot. What we'll do is we'll take this total bill and the tip column and visualize it by using a joint plot. So we'll we'll leave we'll use the total bill as our x variable and then tip as our y variable and use joint plot to see the relationship between those two variables. Let's do that. So to do that, we simply start by saying SNS and then from Seaboard, we'll call the function known as joint plot. So SNS that joint plot and then we pass our X and Y variables. So our X variable in this case will be total bill right which is here total underscore bill and our y variable will be tip so let's pass that to our y variable is tip and the joint plot method also takes another function another attribute known as data so for this since we are using the tips data set will pass that we saved it in a variable called tips right so let's pass that data is tips okay now if we run this we see a joint plot of the tips data set we have total bill on the x-axis and we have tip on the y-axis so here we have a scatter plot to show the relationship between those two variables, total bill and tip. And we have marginal distribution of each variable on a separate axis, right? Here and here. 
Let's look at one more example of the joint plot, but this time let's use the iris data set. So what we can do is SNS that joint plot, we call the joint plot function and it takes the X variable, which we can use. Let's see the relationship between separate lengths and separate widths for the iris data set. So let's do that. Let's have our separate lengths as our X axis. For our Y axis, we can use, let's say separate widths. And we say that joint plot also takes another attribute known as data. And we'll use the iris data set. So if we run this, we get this nice joint plot. So on the x-axis we have separate lengths, on the y-axis we have separate widths. This shows us the relationship between those two, uh, those two variables for the iris data set. And we have a marginal distribution of each variable on our separate axis. So in these two examples, we have scatter plots and then histograms on the margin. What we can do is we can also add some regression lines for our scatter plots and a kernel density fit for our histograms. To do that, we'll pass another attribute in our joint plot method, which is called the kind attribute. Let's do that. So we have SNS that joint plot. And then we said that for our X axis, we'll use total bill for our Y axis. We have tips and then our data comes from the tips data set. And we'll pass another parameter or attribute known as kind and we'll set that to be equal to REG for regression. Now let's run it. Oh, I know what our error is. So our y-axis is tip, not tips. Let's run it again. Okay, here, now we have total bill versus tip and we have a regression line for our scatter plot and a kernel density fit for the histogram. Great. If we want, we can also change the color of our joint plot by passing the color attribute. So for instance, we can say color is equal to, let's say green. So now our joint plot is green. So you can do that. 